What's up YouTube? Today we're going to show you how to go from this to that. So today we're going to be changing out the front and rear bow ties on this 2016 Silverado and what we're going to show you guys today will apply specifically to the 16 through 18 model year Silverados but in general this will be how you change the bow ties on most of the GM vehicles. So we're going to be going to this black OEM bow tie and we'll have the part numbers and links to these in the description of the video. Now as you may notice the Silverado is a little bit higher than stock. We actually just finished installing a lift kit on this truck from Skyjacker. If you guys want to know how to do that, watch the video at the link above. Up top are a whole bunch of these uh, push pins. We're going to go ahead and release those. Take a screwdriver, you can pop the top, and then use a pry tool to pop it up. So it looks just like this. At the top of the grill are four 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and remove those. On either end is a little tab that holds the grill back. So if you pop that up, slide it forward. So we have the top released right now. And if you pull against this, actually that won't pop back in. So make sure these tabs stay popped out. They have a tendency to want to pop back in. There is one on either end you have to lift up and then two in the middle basically right where the screws are there is a tab right in front of those holes and it sticks down you have to lift up and pull out all right so we have the top released what you're going to now want to do is grab the center part of your grill and it's going to pop out now i already removed this once so it pops out pretty easily now but the first time you're definitely going to have to give it some oomph to get out all right, so we got that middle part released there. And I'm gonna come over here, do the same. I'm gonna reach down just to be careful and pop out the bottom. So, again, and then Adam, you wanna hold the other side. Now you might wanna have a second person hold the other side so it doesn't scratch your bumper. Don't pull it out too far until it's popped in here. So we're gonna reach down on this side. Just so we're applying force directly where we need to pop it. All right. And that's your front grill removed. Right in the center, you can see the four tabs that hold your bow tie in place. Pop that out. There you go. At the back of the bow tie, there's an arrow that points towards the top so that you know you're installing it in the right orientation. And there you go. That's how you change out the front bow tie. Let's go ahead to the back and show you how to do that one. When you go to remove the rear bow tie, it's held in by double-sided uh, automotive tape so this can be a little bit of a challenge to remove we like to go ahead and prep it with goo gone so while we were working on the front one I was coming back here and spraying this every few minutes to make sure that the adhesion is as weak as possible before we go to remove this you also want to make sure that this is at least somewhat warm it's about 70 degrees or so right now so it should come off pretty easily um, if you can park the vehicle in direct sunlight on a hot summer day it really makes it come off a lot easier and if you are working in the cold, just take a heat gun to it, um, and that will help loose, loosen uh, the adhesive tape at the back. However, just be careful that you don't damage any of the surrounding paint. And I'll wipe up the excess, and then we're going to mark the edges with some masking tape. And then we're going to put some masking tape to kind of help guide the new one on, but also protect the paint while we remove the old one. So sticking it up underneath of the bow tie a little bit. Gonna heat this up a little bit. Okay. 
And again, you want to be careful that you don't hold it over top of your paint for too long because you can burn the paint. Your bow tie removed. Now we're going to take some 70% isopropyl alcohol now that we've gotten most of the uh, double sided tape off and just wipe this down to make sure our new emblem adheres well to the surface. Alright, so we have our new bow tie and these come pre installed with double sided tape. And just like the front, there's an arrow that points towards the top. Now, as you saw, we put some 3M masking tape on here, so that's gonna help us line up the new bow tie. And just keep in mind that we overlapped the bow tie a little bit with the tape. So I just have it loosely on there, but I'm gonna remove the Masking tape before pressing it on fully to make sure nothing gets stuck underneath. Press and hold this on here for about 30 seconds. Or longer. As long as you want. That's it guys, that is how you install the front and rear bow ties on the 16 through 18 model year Silverados. And we actually have a lot more videos on this truck as well as my 2014 Silverado up on the channel. So definitely check those out. We have a lot more coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you back here next time.